Our story started in Chicago. Dangerous city, but beautiful in its own way. We grew up in the hopes of a life full of joy and happiness, but it seems like some evil force followed us and attacked us at every chance it got, filling our childhoods with drama, stealing any innocence it could until we were broken, full of darkness, lost in a world full of people with such cruel intentions towards us, with a smile on their face. Even though we felt like there was no end, no light at the end of the tunnel, we still knew that there was joy and happiness out there, somewhere for us. I was stolen away, taken across the world, isolated and alone, trying to find myself in others, helping and caring for others that didn't even see me as an equal. I stayed in Chicago, looking for the person I saw in the mirror each day, surrounded by people that stolen anything they came from me. I was a ghost to everybody until someone needed something from me. Treated like an option and not a blessing, we still kept our light bright and fought to reach for what we thought was the answer, but still attacked, brought lower, and brought closer to death. But even with all the fakes surrounding us, we knew there was a real one out there waiting for us. And then... It happened. A flame was ignited. Flooded with darkness, we found a light. An angel, an equal, our twin. We instantly connected, and with love and loyalty, we built each other up. We helped each other find ourselves. We helped each other find the power within us. We learned new lifestyles together. We helped each other drop the things and people holding us back from greatness. We started a new path in life. Even though it could be beautiful, there are still attacks and mistakes. But together we stand strong. We overcome all, breaking generational curses, clearing the way for our children, and continue to build our family and kingdom, fighting towards our happy ending. We lost a lot to pain double, but through pain we are strengthened. We heal it down while in the drop, one of my sales about I'm standing out when it's beef, I'm never standing out. Marlo Island, St. John Apartments Couldn't afford the rent, we move a grandma more like an orphanage The neighborhood ain't like I said, we came from New Orleans Had some fights, or slung some iron and bad and rude, you would call it Lee Lucas doing life, he left when I was 11 Had a job I did not like and started narcotics selling I do for me, I feed myself a coon, I will and they help me We either die or go to jail, so what the fuck could you tell me? Fully loaded, Mac 11, when this crash, you get a plane Got a brand new black night, and I keep it by my Boy, done out of hatred, no question Draw your sword, get met with brute force No second guess up, oh, y'all yeah. Watch your mouth, no dissing me You know we all saw it You say I'm fake, that's your opinion That's just you all story Just face the fact I was y'all blessed But y'all ignored it Your quest for fame had you distorted Not accepting, sorry I'm really that the streets are vouch The people vouch The jail are vouch All the niggas in the feds are vouch We held it down while in the drop One of my sales are vouch I'm standing out when it's beef I'm never standing down Everything he did for me, I was slaughtered. Got betrayed, it came with great disappointment. I thought we was under that law, but your nephew's an informant. Put the folks in my business, gotta set court appointments, gotta suit up with lawyers. Damn, this how we rockin'. They copyrighted my name and wanted one million dollars. The label laughed in my face, I had to pay out my pocket. Young money closed the door, and ain't nobody won't sign me. Travis Newman looked out, we in the park and we grind it. If you want them wholesale, just pull up and we got it. Shout out to Miss Kindy, my heart on Carolina. I put diamonds in the T.O.P. and all in the bottle. I ain't never.
a change up, let's get that understood I'm in that 70805, they don't show love in my hood I ain't never change up, let's get that understood I'm in that 70805, they don't show love in my hood Watch your mouth, no dissing me, you know we all saw it You say I'm fake, that's your opinion, that's just y'all story You just face the fact I was y'all blessed, but y'all ignored it Your quest for fame had you distorted, not accepting sorry I'm really the head the streets of my I want to share a channel message that I received from a Chicago rapper and he believes that it's important, very important to get this word out to everyone in hopes that they take from it and start applying themselves and be able to save themselves from a vicious cycle, save them and them children. Okay, I'm going to begin. He was angry growing up, watching his mom being a whore, not professional, watching guys coming in and out. Some have used him. A lot of them introduced him to self-destruction. One actually touched him, and two women touched him as well. That is what caused him getting sexually active. He has a few children he does not know about amongst the ones he does. No one is loyal. He put his group together, chasing the same dream, the same lie, which is what made them think that they were friends. Drugs and alcohol cause a lot of confusion because they have the same so-called enemies. It made it seem like they cared about each other, but when the real loyalty and love was tested, no one was around. Killing an op means nothing but destroying a brother. We need each other. So lost and destroyed that we think all our brothers are enemies, even the ones close to you. You would think your mom, dad, bro, sis, everyone out there to get you. You stand alone, and that is what the enemy wants. Smile in your face and secretly want to hurt each other. They teach us to be cold-hearted like them. That is what destroys us and gives them power. Growing up poor, trying to survive in any way possible is part of the program. Depending on money, which is their source of power. Our true power is within. Which is why they give a vision of something else to distract us from the true power. They do not even care about their own which is why most is still in the same position. And they stand no chance of survival when it comes to order being restored. Unless they surrender to us, it's all bullshit to keep us under, to keep them in power, making us kill each other. And that is what goes against order and structure power because they turned us against each other we believe in guns that's not even our true power but it empowers us thinking that killing is a way of surviving but it really isn't some drugs in natural state is helpful without abuse some alcohol without abuse helps connect in spiritual when not abused, channel will be what it is, in, is intended for. When abused, you'll be open to all spirits. Example, like Celis likes gin, certain channels that works for him, or Remy. Remy has certain spirits that he can tap into when not abused. Beer, wine, coolers destroys you. All those things like MD, 2020, Cisco, bullshit, fake shit. The spirits are in the wine also. 
you know the right drugs to mess with, the more natural ones, but abused not. When it abused, so many different things influence us. That is why we have so much sex with different people, pollute ourselves and children with these different spirits. True. When you have sex with someone, it does latch on other spirits. Like, for example, how you and your husband, you guys are good because it's just the two spirits coming together, connecting. When a person is a whore, there are spirits all over the place jumping into you. Using condoms do not matter. That is why they push multiple marriage, threesome, orgy, running trains, because it's destroying the next person, and then the next person destroys you. Everybody is a fucking liar. They will say that they have not been with nobody, but they had just had sex with someone earlier in the day. And now you're taking on their spirits and shit that you have no business. So now you have more spirits and bullshit attached to you. And you're bringing in children and teaching the same vicious cycle. It's going on and on. Everyone is trapped. So the more messages that get out for our people is the better for our people to break the cycle. We have to start educating ourselves. Not every education. Stuff we must learn. That stuff that we have to learn. I fell for the same traps as everyone else, and I do not want everyone to do what I did. I see my children falling for traps because of their mom. My mom ain't no better. She's still doing the same shit. She loves me though. All I can do is try to protect them. All I, but I cannot do everything. I have to eventually come back and it will be worse for me. So I'm trying to learn as much as possible before I come back. You being around us helps. That's why I fucked with you all because I be around y'all learning even when you cannot see. I'm learning as much as I can before I come back, but it's cool. It'll all be all right. Message from Chicago rapper from the other side of the spiritual realm, trying to warn, help, and protect those so that they don't end up living a bad life, falling for the tricks like he said that he did and now he has to come back and his life will be harder. So if I was you, I would take the advice and I thank and appreciate this individual for sharing.